What's going on, everybody? My name is James Jackson. I'm doing something a little bit differently. This is Quick Tip Tuesday. Uh, essentially, I'm going to give you guys a tip that you can use in your productions. Most of this will surround Resolve, but there may be some other tips that uh, if you guys are interested, definitely leave comments of learning more below. But this is just sort of a rapid fire, something that can just help you if you're wanting to streamline things or to solve a problem. But that's essentially it. Uh, so to make sure I stay under the quick tick time, which is going to be a challenging because as most of y'all know, I like to talk. Uh, but let us go ahead. I'm going to go into DaVinci Resolve uh, and show you guys a really quick way to make sure you guys can, if you're doing a series of projects and you want to keep the same settings, this is a quick and easy way or, to set things up. So uh, right now, as you can see, we're in DaVinci Resolve and uh, currently, my pro if I go to file, go to my project settings. Right now I've set it up to where, because I typically work in 4K time lapse, I'm gonna do 4K. Uh, I typically leave the video resolution. I don't wanna mess, don't like messing with that. Uh, cache and everything outside of, is the same except for, again, the video resolution. Image scaling, uh, scale to fill with crop. And then in the color management, I like working with DaVinci Resolve via GP Manage. It just streamlines and makes color grading significantly simpler. I go to Rec 709A because I go to YouTube and YouTube loves Rec 709A. The only other thing I do is uh, do a tetrahedral for my 3D LUTs. It's just better. It's a little bit more process intensive, very so slightly, but to me, it's a better way to deal with love. But that's essentially it. Now, there's two ways that if I was to use this on multiple uh, t uh, timelines, one way I like doing it is uh, if you go here, you go, you can, if you want to duplicate or create new timelines, so you can go here, create the new timelines, and every single one of them will use the project settings. And then sometimes I'll change it. So like if I got a short, I'll change the format to switch it to vertical, which will go right here. Uh, but there's actually an easy way to just make this process just, if that is the, the settings that you know you're going to work with 95% of the time, there's actually a very easy way to just make every single project, even if you open a new project, you don't have to deal with this all again. What you do is you go to the right side, right over here and say, save current settings as preset. And then you can go to the, D the presets and you can load it. And every single time, as you will see, as I uh, will open up, I'll open up a whole new project setting. So I'm gonna just make new projects and I'll just call this resolve project settings test. We're just gonna show, do that real quick, open up. Now, when I go to my project settings, it's exactly the same every single time. So you don't, you can base, so clicking this and you save this as your preset, as your default, you could just basically touch and you never have to touch it again. Anyways guys, this is my quick tip Tuesday. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know, leave your comments down below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.